on to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen my lovely fans hmm, the tears of a woman hmm, should not be heard in the household where you want peace hmm. the cry of an innocent woman the cause of an innocent woman when a woman cry and swear and lay a cause my people it is everlasting it it takes only what god cannot do does not exist to free you from that cause lately we all saw what happened in the social media why may a doshi remember the birthday of her late son kambili shuku may a doshi wanted to put a post and say something about a late son kambili shuku you let doshi fast forward into the social media and posted about kambili shuku may a doshi that was so pained that know what it is the pains to lose a child we draw back and let Yule Doshe did the posting. According to what Yule Doshe posted, we all saw it and we said, oh, it's really a touching word. Though there were some parts that it looked like it was mocking somebody with a beer arrow IP. Imagine somebody writing this. Yes, we have to look at it. Okay, this is what Yule Doshe wrote. Hmm. He said, Happy 17th birthday, my great son. Hope you are doing well over there. I never knew I would ever do a write-up like this. But here we are, live. I kept asking God to let me see you again, and he granted me my wish. I saw you once in my dream. You look much taller and more handsome and bigger. You were glowing since you are not playing basketball over there and left football. You look very happy. Obviously, life over there is quite different from here. Down here, we are doing our best to cope. It is not been easy without you around. The pain is terrible, but I'm strong, very strong. I have to be strong for me and your siblings. Why submitting totally to the will of God? We miss you. We love you. But God loves you more. You are elevated now. Keep washing over us all. Washing over us all. Keep flying, son. Till we meet again. Don't stop playing football. Happy 17th birthday, son. So this is what um, Yule Edoshe posted. Because it was May Edoshe that wanted to post about her son normally. She was the one that really mourned this boy. She was the one that knew what she went through. She was the one that felt it more than Yule Edoshe. But Yule Edoshe fast forward quickly to post about the birthday of his son because it was on the 17th and it was the birthday of the boy, Kambili Chuku. So May Edoshe withdraw so that it won't, it won't look like both of them are doing competition. But after this day that Yule Edoshe posted this thing, the next day Yule Edoshe spoiled everything with this. So after he posted that, the next day he posted this. Dancing, smiley rejoicing when on the 17th was your son your late son birthday you posted the word that made this woman not to express her feelings to her child and the next day you came up with this how do you want me edoshe to feel about this hmm me edoshe felt really bad when she saw what you edoshe posted the next day she felt really bad. It was like they were mocking her. How dare you post about my late son on the 17th? And on the 18th, you're dancing and rejoicing. That means it was never from your heart. You just posted it to mock the boy. Because according to the words Yule Doshi wrote, he really wrote things that were not from the heart. Things that doesn't make sense with a late child. Playing basketball, playing football, what does that mean? Are we joking or we are talking about somebody that lost his life just at 16 when he has a lot of life yet to live? This make May Edoshe got angry and May Edoshe laid a curse on Yul Edoshe and Judy Austin. Let's see the curse that she laid on them. 
That same day that Yul Edoshe and Judy Austin came out on social media dancing and mocking May Edoshe for losing a child, especially Judy Austin, which is a mother to five children from three different men, a free Olo show for that matter, a free caregiver. She also supported a man, even if the man have no sense of reasoning. At least you as a woman, that have given birth to a child, that know the pains of giving birth to a child, you would have used your common sense to advise that man that a pain of a woman losing a child is even worse than giving birth to a child. But instead, she came out dancing with you, Edoshe. And May Edoshe that same day went to a page with tears on her eyes, but she have a very soft heart. She never sent a message to them. But instead, she cried to God because she believed God is the one that fights the revenge for us. And she cried to our God and said, Oh Lord, I will never cease to praise you in the times of pains, in the times of suffering, and even in the time when I'm being mocked. I will never cease to praise you, Oh God. And she went to swear and lay a curse on them. According to her, she said, let that will be done. This is a big curse that she lay on them. After she prayed to God, you can see the answer of prayer. After she said, oh Lord, I will never cease to praise you, even if they mock at me. But let your will be done. This was all how May Edoshe lay curse on Yul Edoshe and Judy Austin. So today, what is happening to Yul Edoshe and Judy Austin? We're going to see what is happening to Yul Edoshe and Judy Austin. Why May Edoshe is progressing going forward in every aspect of her life? Why God was blessing May Edoshe in 2024? Judy Austin and Yul Edoshe entered into the 2024 with the curse of May Edoshe laid on both of them, that Lord let that will be done. The will of God has started working in the life of Judy Austin and Yul Edoshe. 2024, according to what we heard, it will be a curse year for Judy Austin. It will be a year of tears, a year of pain for Judy Austin. The family of Judy Austin, they ran to the river to do some sacrifice to free Judy Austin from this 2024 vision that they saw upon their daughter, Judy Austin, because they told them that 2024 will be pains, tears, and sorrow upon Judy Austin. The year had just started and we've seen a lot of things. A lot of people coming out already to drag her. And this time around, not just dragging her, but with pains. Somebody came out today to drag Judy Austin that he is the father of Tadiki. And Judy Austin should dare, Yule Doshe should dare him by them going to do a DNA test. And according to the information we heard, this one was not posted on the social media. Judy Austin Abuja boyfriend also claimed that Judy Austin has been removing different pregnancy for him. And he also went face to face with Yule Doshi, confronting him about the things that went on between she and Judy Austin. And that about Yule Doshi. What about Yule Doshi? All his plans for 2024, what he planned to do. They said the moment he went back to work, things became shaking more than 2023. So when a woman lay a curse on you, <laughs> pray it is only what God cannot do that does not exist that will free you from that curse. These two people came out mocking a woman that just lost that lost her son a year ago. They never gave her the opportunity to celebrate, not celebrate, to wish her son a happy birthday in the other world. Instead, they came with a message mocking a soul that passed at just 16 years. They did not stop there. They came out dancing exactly what they did when this boy passed away 2023. The same act they did on Kambili Shuku again on his birthday. Hmm. 
This cause that May Edoshe lay on Jule Edoshe and Judy Austin, it will only do, take what God cannot do, does not exist for them to be free. Because the signs of the cause are working on Judy Austin and Yule Edoshe. Since 2024, there has not been peace between Yule Edoshe and Judy Austin. Though they posted video where they were smiling, singing in the car, there is no peace. That is just what they use for their content. They are doing content. People should understand that it is called content. They have to create this thing to post there on their page. So it's like they are acting films. That is not their reality. Their reality is far from what they post on the social media. According to the information, 2024 has been the toughest year for Judy Austin and Yul Edoshi because both of them entered into the year with quarrels and things are not going well for them because May Edoshi laid a curse on them. Remember when May Edoshi told them that our God will judge them. It was a tough year for them, though they claimed that things were okay. They ran from Enugu in the middle of the night to Abuja. Maybe very soon now they will run from Abuja to God knows where, because this time around, out of pains and tears again, this woman laid a second curse on them, saying that her God will judge them. And since she laid this curse, they have been going through a lot secretly. And we know that when May Edo she lay a curse, it must surely come to pass. Like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah, amen. And to those of you that have subscribed, may the light of God shine upon you and your family, your generation, your children, in the mighty name of Jesus, inshallah, amen.